Welcome back to another video everyone, this is Coaster Daddy, and today I have another review from Kings Island, where I will be discussing my experience on Mystic Timbers, the 2017 Great Coasters International Wooden Coaster in the Rivertown section of the park. Just be warned, do not go into the shed. Mystic Timbers is my very first and so far only GCI coaster I've experienced. It is average size for a wooden coaster standing at 109 feet tall. It reaches a top speed of 53 miles per hour and features 3,265 feet of track. There is a tunnel featured on the turnaround as well as the infamous shed which was really hyped up by the park during the advertising campaign for this coaster which has sort of turned this ride into a meme within the coaster community. You will walk past Diamondback to find this ride and you are greeted by a nicely themed area featuring an old truck and really nice aesthetics overall. It has a very similar feel to Twisted Timbers but also a slightly different story though that story is pretty vague. The station is also decorated quite nicely and you can tell they put good effort into making this ride look as good as it does. So overall Mystic Timbers is presented very nicely especially when considering this is a Cedar Fair Park. Nothing elaborate as is expected, but still with a lot of care put into this ride. The entire structure of this particular coaster is also made entirely of wood, which really helps to sell the whole rustic feel of the ride and the theme of the Miami River Lumber Company. It is situated perfectly, like many coasters at Kings Island, among the trees, and this ride even goes over a small river which is really cool and was a surprise to me when I rode it for the first time. It is a very isolated ride which really works to its advantage. Another surprise was the shed. I won't go into too much detail in case you don't want it to be spoiled, but you can find videos of it online if you are really curious. It's nothing too immersive though, just a really nice show section to keep you entertained on the brake run while you wait to get back into the station. Once you load into the super comfortable Millennium Flyer trains, which I must say are pretty spacious, you depart the station and make a slight turn to the right, traverse a small dip and engage with the lift hill. This lift hill is a bit different from your standard lift, as it really slows down a little over halfway up. You hear these voices from the speakers telling you, don't go into the shed, whatever you do. After this, the chain then really speeds up, adding to the anticipation, and you go down the ride's first curving drop to the left. Like I said, this is my first GCI and I was pretty surprised by how much I like this drop much better than I had anticipated. Following the drop, you will bank to the left, rise up into the second hill, then turn a bit more to the left and cross over the lift hill, where you will then dive down into the woods. After this drop, you go over the first of many small ejector hills, which also travels over the small river that runs under the ride, and I really like that. It works into the ride's theme very well and really makes you feel like you're rampaging through the woods on this wild adventure. You then go up into another really small hill, twist quickly to the right, then to the left, then go over a couple more small ejector hills which twist and weave their way through the woods, which is followed by the most intense part of the ride in my opinion, the turnaround which abruptly turns you sharply to the left while twisting down with very little banking. You are flying through this so fast and the lateral forces are incredible. It is also covered by a tunnel which adds a nice thrilling element. You will then bank slightly to the left, go over a few tiny airtime hills again, then traversing a double down over the water again to take you back to the other side. There is a short straight section that follows, and the final element is a quick ascent up into the brakes after you twist quickly to the left, getting one last pop of air. You will then hit the brakes and travel into the forbidden shed. I was genuinely really shocked with how much power this ride has. From POVs and watching it off-ride, it seemed like a thrilling wooden coaster with a simple but exciting layout, weaving its way through the woods. What I got with my three rides, however, was insane ejector air, some great laterals, and a ride that speeds through the woods of Rivertown, whipping you left to right time and time again with some decent force. I was really not expecting Mystic Timbers to be that whippy. A very good surprise in my book. I think this ride has a decent runtime at 47 seconds from drop to break. I've heard many people complain about this ride being too short, but for me it is perfect. It doesn't feel really long, but it feels like a complete ride. If you want a long ride, just visit Mystic Timber's legendary neighbor in Rivertown. Plus, I noticed that with these Millennium Flyer trains, the lap bars would tighten quite a bit throughout the ride, especially in the latter half when you are really getting tossed around, which is my biggest complaint with this ride. 
It does make it slightly more difficult to enjoy this fantastic ride when you are having to worry about the lap bar tightening down on you and trying to prevent that throughout the course of the ride. On that note though, I really do find these Millennium Flyers to be very comfortable overall, and some of the best trains on any coaster that I've had the pleasure of experiencing. I just would like to see that aspect improve so the lap bars aren't constantly getting tighter throughout the ride, because right at the end of the ride, it would come down pretty hard, really stapling me in, and it was not very enjoyable. I also have to add that Mystic Timbers, as of 2019, is a very smooth ride for a wooden coaster. It isn't glossy smooth, which I think is for the better, but it is not uncomfortably rough. Just a fairly intense ride that throws you around a lot for that good old wood coaster experience. To recap, Mystic Timbers is a smooth, fast, airtime packed ride that doesn't let up. It is constantly throwing you from one direction and back the other direction without much time to take anything in as you blaze through the trees and over the water. The pacing is excellent and it has a very solid runtime. I fell in love with Mystic Timbers after my first ride, and after riding it three times, I decided that this is my second favorite ride at Kings Island. I couldn't decide between this and my number one at first, but this was a very strong contender, along with three other fantastic coasters at the park. In my very honest opinion, Mystic Timbers is a 9 out of 10 ride, and one that is so close to being in my overall top 10. It is such a good ride that I honestly wish I could fit it in there somehow. It is also among the very best wooden coasters I've been on. If you visit Kings Island, this is definitely one you should try to ride at least a couple times. That about wraps up my review of Mystic Timbers. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully this helps out a bit if you're thinking about visiting Kings Island to ride this coaster. Leave your thoughts in the comments so we can discuss Mystic Timbers and like this video if you enjoyed watching it and be sure to subscribe for more awesome reviews like this along with many other videos coming in the near future. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.